oneness and to be the, and to be the true testimony of the Lord? Do we need do we need to make a rule now, like Witness Lee did, and start referring to some churches as the church in so and so's house? You have to meet as the church in so and so's house. No, it's a, it's a mere description. It's a simple description of the church in that place. There's no rule of having to meet as the church in so-and-so's house. Colossians chapter 4, verse 16 says, the church of the Laodiceans. And 1 Thessalonians 1.1 1, 1, and 2 Thessalonians 2.1, uh, or 1.1 or 1, 1, rather, they both say the church of the Thessalonians, calling it the church of certain people, not of a certain place. So in order to keep the oneness, do we need to make a rule like Witness Lee did, just make up a rule that we need to start calling ourselves the churches of the Bostonians, the churches of the Houstonians, the churches of the San Franciscoans? Do we have to make up a rule? We have to meet that way? No. Witness Lee, I thought this was meeting as the ground, meeting as the church in such and such city was the only true consistent pattern found in the Bible. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2, and 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 1, they both say the church of God, which is in Corinth. In order to keep the oneness, do we need to make up a rule like Witness Lee did, that we now need to add of God to the name of our church? We have to not only be the church, of Houston, church in Houston, we have to be the church of God in Houston. Do we need to make up that rule too? No. No, we do not. I thought this was the consistent pattern that we were to follow witnessly. I thought there was only one true consistent pattern. So according to the verses I just listed, on top of the verses that show that you can meet as the church in your city, like the church in Antioch, the church in Jerusalem, etc., which one is the consistent pattern that we need to follow? Which one is the consistent pattern that, local, pattern that local church members claim we must strictly follow? Do we need to say the church in Laodicea? Or do we need to say the church of the Laodiceans? Do we need to say the church in Thessalonica? Or the church of the Thessalonians? Do we need to say the church in so-and-so's house? Or do we need to say the church of God in such-and-such such city? What's the rule, Witness Lee? The point is... Neither one of these is the issue. Neither one. Just as calling the church of a certain people, like Laodiceans, is not a rule to keep the oneness, just as calling the church, the church in someone's house, is not a rule to keep the oneness, and just as calling the church, the church of God in a certain city, is not a rule to keep the oneness and to be on the proper ground, so calling the church in such and such city that's not a rule either to keep the oneness and to be on the proper ground to build the church. If Witness Lee and others say we must only refer to ourselves as the church in such and such city, then who gave him that rule? The devil did. That's who gave him that rule. He went beyond the scripture. He was more strict than God in this regards. And that's typical of cults. Cults are often more strict than God in certain matters so that they can control people and keep them. It's this matter of the ground of the church, being the ground of a locality, the ground of the city, the jurisdiction of a city, it's not found in the Bible I'm reading. How about yours? How about yours, people? Where did he get the rule from that we don't need to refer to ourselves as the church of God in such and such city? Or the church in so-and-so's house? Or the church of, for example, the Thessalonians, a certain group of people. Even though these are terms clearly and repeatedly used in the New Testament as well. Where did he get the rule to exclude these other terms that I just mentioned from being a consistent pattern? There are consistent patterns other than meeting as the, as the church in such and such city. But this rule that Witness Lee made up, the supposed ground of the church, the ground of locality, the jurisdiction of a city being the ground, it's not in the Bible. It's not in the Bible. <clears throat> now, another thing that, uh, that uh, another part of Scripture that Witness Lee 
and his obsequious sycophants will often use to say that, well, you have to meet as the church in such and such city because if you if you don't, if you take some other, you know, meet in some other way, then you'll be divisive and you're taking another name, a name besides that of Christ, and, and that's spiritual fornication. That's their uh, accusation against all other Christian groups. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 11 and 12 is often used by Witness Lee and his followers to condemn taking a name, to say that not meeting as the local church in such and such city is being a division. So I'm going to read those verses real quick to you, okay? For it has been made clear to me concerning you, my brothers, by those of the household of Chloe, that there are strifes. Note this, there are strifes among you. Now I mean this, that each of you says, I am of Paul, and I of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. From the context of these verses, when you look at it objectively, the underlying issue found here in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 is not a matter of merely taking a name. If it were, then according to this interpretation of Witness Lee, that you can't have a name, then we shouldn't even say that we are of Christ. And how ridiculous would that be? The underlying issue is not having a name. It's not calling yourself by someone's, uh, another person's name. The underlying issue is having a name to be at strife with other believers, to be at variance with other believers. That's the issue. Some may have received Christ through Paul, and others through Apollos, others through Cephas. There's nothing wrong with that. But to use such names like Paul and Apollos and Cephas, even Christ, to use those names to be at strife with one another, that is an issue. According to this verse, one can even use Christ's holy and most high mighty name to be at strife with others. The name itself, including the name of Christ, is not the issue, people. It is the strife which causes division, which the believers had among themselves even by holding to good names, names of good holy men, even to the name of God, Jesus Christ. We can call ourselves to be of Christ without being at strife with others. Can we not? Of course we can. But if we can call ourselves to be of Christ without being at strife with others, then the name of Christ is not the problem. It is the attitude and way that that one uses the name that can be the issue. It's the attitude and way that you use a certain name that can be the issue. This can be applied also to the apostles' names, like Paul for whom we may have heard and received the gospel. Maybe you heard and received the gospel from Paul in those times. The name of Paul and having been cared for by him is not the issue. Saying, I received Christ through Paul. Yeah, I, I, I came to Christ through Paul. That's not an issue. There's nothing wrong with that. That's true. Again, it is the attitude and way that one uses Paul's name. That can be the issue. Now, you want an Old Testament type, as Witness Lena's followers always want to. They, they're really into typology and numerology and all these thing, things of significance in the Old Testament. Well, I'll give you an Old Testament type that proves my point. The children of Israel, all one people in unity, met together in the same place on the proper ground, the same God, Yet, they had 12 different names. They had 12 tribal names by which they were designated. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, etc. You would think that according to Witness Lee, this is terrible. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, oh my! No, this was biblical. Were they taking, were the tribes of Israel taking names of their families even meeting and encamping by those names and being divisive? Of course not. Actually, the Lord, he told them to encamp and to meet in that way with those names. 
There were clear distinctions.